Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah? A, a little bit tired, but I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> a long weekend? A, a, a long day? What happened? Uh, both. <laughs> a long weekend and a long day. <laughs> a difficult day, uh, then. Yes, because it's, it's Monday. And in, in, the, in the company, every Monday is, is, is hard. <laughs> it's heavy. But I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm ready for the class. Okay. All right. Uh, tell me, what does your company do? We may, we are, uh, it's a textile company. Mm -hmm. We may, may power it and uh, we produce the, 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 the knitting for the, for the maquilas. Okay, for the factories. For the factory, yeah. Okay. That, that's what we do. What do you produce for the factories? The, the textile material. Okay, the, the, the material they need to make the shirts and things like that. Yeah, yes, but to make the, the shirt, the, the pajama and something like that. Okay. Clothes, to make clothes. Okay. They they may close with with our material. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's it. It happens. I think every I think everybody has a, a a busy job now. Maybe more. I don't know why, but I think during the pandemic, we work more than when it's not the pandemic. If if you have yeah, a job, if you have a job, the job makes you work more than when before the pandemic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So we'll see. We're going to go ahead. We're going to get started. Uh, we're going to make our small groups um, and we're going to catch up just on our weekend discussing the, um, the things, the activities. Uh, we're going to talk about the things that are happening around the world. The hurricane. Are you prepared? You're not prepared. What do you do? Do you have a emergency kit or you're like the typical Salvadorian, ah, 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 it's not going to happen, nothing, and then just wait for something like that. So first things first, let's make our groups and we're just going to catch up on the weekends and also about the things that are happening around us. Any questions? No, teacher. All right. No let's, question. Let's do this. Vero, huh? Hello. Hello, just you. What happened? I don't know. Maybe, as you say, every everybody is excited. <laughs> yeah, I understand. <laughs> there are some days that are very, very tiring, and you say, "How is possible? All of the activities I have to do." All of the and you, Vero, how are you? What happened today? Oh, I was thinking about getting out from the, from the job, <laughs> but later <laughs> I, I remember that I, I had a house to pay, so I stay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Almost you had the opportunity to leave early, huh? Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's getting hard in, in my job. Really? Think, maybe because this, this pandemic, I mm -hmm. think, um, I don't know, of, of, uh, everybody say if you are a good work, good worker, everybody say she can do it, she can do it, she can do it, and they put all, all the jobs on your shoulders, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 there's your partner, there's David. Hello, David. 
Hello, everyone. I'm Hello. sorry, I was late. <laughs> no problem, no problem. All right, I'll let you two continue. Vera will tell you what to do. Here we go. Okay. I, I finished, I just, uh, I just left the, the, the last, uh, the last test, I guess it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the final exam. Yeah. 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 And I finish uh, everything, I, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, I have some, some questions, but I think that later the teacher is going to help us. Because I yeah, don't know. Yeah, actually. Like some... Yeah, actually, I have a couple of questions, too. Maybe, maybe we have the... Oh, uh, they give us uh, the opportunity to to ask uh, about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I hope so. Yeah. So, by what do you think about the, this uh, this uh, first? I stay at home and just prepare with my family and try not try uh, just to calm down and and be patient. Right, and then uh, nothing gonna happen, thank God, here in my city. And answer uh, a lot of emails and call a different people because uh, we need to catch you. Is it correct, teacher? Catch, catch you. Catch you is. Catch you. Yes, I understand the mean, but the pronunciation catch you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, Carlos is uh, like uh, a lot of people. You need uh, uh, respond your update, for example. Oh. Right. Yeah. You have that, that, that in Monday. Yeah. Today. Today is important. I mean, where Where do you work? I work for the uh, organization uh, that uh, work for the stretching justice system. You know, so he, he has a lot of water, so it's very dangerous with another rain like that. Yeah, um, I think El Salvador is so, not prepared for those things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I hey, hope Elder. that at this night, maybe the hurricane can change the category. <laughs> I hope so. I, yeah. I think that <laughs> it's this, this night that they are going to enter to the country. I knew that, but I don't know. To El Salvador? Yes. Yeah. No, in El Salvador on Wednesday. Wednesday. On Wednesday. Yeah. So we had to wait. So we have time to, to go to, to, to buy some food. <laughs> to prepare. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. At least tomorrow, yes. The idea is for tomorrow. You you have time to prepare. I. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, my mom told me this afternoon that she need she want to go to the supermarket and buy things because she don't know what she does know what is going to happen and it's it's better to be prepared to to yeah, your account. Because in reality, you don't know. You don't know if maybe nothing happens, like with the last yes. hurricane, Etta, um, but maybe something big, and maybe you don't have electricity for a few days, or you know, the typical, the typical things that can happen. Yes. The, the streets are flooded, and the people don't go shopping, and then the same. They 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 go shopping in the last moment. Yes. Yes. Yes, I guess that tomorrow is a good option to go to the supermarket. Yeah, yeah, really it is. Tomorrow is a great day to go mm -hmm. because the weather is still okay. It's not going to, I think it's supposed to impact um, late tomorrow night, uh, Wednesday morning. So you have enough time 
and and really i think we are lucky that we are in el salvador because we don't have the impact directly like nicaragua or honduras or roatan these areas that they are beautiful places beautiful beaches but yeah they are exposed really really exposed to hurricanes yeah mm -hmm. so it's, it's yeah and they are uh they are very in a difficult situation because they are not for another hurricane they was impacted for the other hurricane and that now it's coming another one so. yeah 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 and ah, only, poor people only a few days it's very so it's very sad to see that news mm -hmm. and the hurricane only a few days so you know it's finished last week and and now yeah. another one yeah mm -hmm. This is not our, our year. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's 2020. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm glad everybody had a little bit of time to talk and get everything ready with their partners and talk about the weekend, you know, talking about preparing for the hurricane, what we're going to do, what needs to be done, things like that. Okay, so the important part of the concept is to help us make sure that everybody's here, we can all work together. Um, the first thing we wanna take a look at is what are there any questions before we begin the class, um, before we begin with our 5.7, which is today's topic is expectations or thinking about the future. Um, are there any questions about the platform, about uh, any sections? I know some of you have already begun the exams. Usually in the part of the exam, there's only one or two questions, but um, I give the opportunity to you if you have any doubts or any exercises you'd like to review. I have one, but I, I need to show you the platform. Go ahead, Carlos. Share them. Uh, 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 let, let me check. Yeah, 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 feel free. Okay. Anybody else while Carlos is looking for the thing he wants to share? Yeah, I have a couple, a couple of questions, teacher. Okay, perfect, Elizabeth. Um, about the relative classes. Okay, okay. Um, I'm not sure. Um, if if uh, we can use that uh, relative class for for a situation that you never experience or you use it when you already experience you know you know what i mean mm. I, I, I'm trying to think of situations where you have an experience, uh, how to how you would use it. Ah, the, the, the reason that I ask you, because I saw in the in the discussion, discussion, yeah. uh, um, some someone um, write or post post uh, an example in the five. Point three. Okay, let me take a Less look. Song. Five point three. Mm, I... Okay. There are... So, um, uh, she or he says, um, when I travel to the United States, I decide to do to do it alone. And one thing that I'd be nervous about traveling alone was getting lost uh, at the airport. Yeah, almost. The only problem is that in that one, they need a B, it should be BIN, B-E-E-N. When you say, uh, when you say uh, that, I, that I've been nervous about? Yes. I'm going to put it so you can see it into our chat. So the B should, uh, the correct for the B should be bin. That's the only uh, thing. Uh, the reason is, is because it, here that, that, that 
I'd doesn't mean I would be nervous. It, it would mean I had been nervous about. Because you were nervous before you traveled. Mm -hmm, exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the question. So, but uh, the example that we uh, that we studied the other day, it was I. I really missed. I'd be nervous about. It's uh, right, right. Some, some because we were looking at the future. But here, the person, exactly. put, yes, the person put it as the past tense of something that they had experienced. Exactly, that's the question. So you can use it uh, uh, for that situation too. Yes, yes, yes. You can you can use it for for all of those for present, past, or future. It's just the oh. the, uh -huh. the the idea of it is just the difference of what's the meaning for it. Okay. Because, because here the grammar structure is had been. No, would be. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the that can be used. That doesn't matter for the time. It's the, those are two different things. So that is the relative. And then the other is the conditional that I would, uh, I would is for the conditional, but here is uh, past perfect. I had been. I have been. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I have another question, but, uh, but um, um, we're waiting for Carlos, right? Yeah, I don't know if Carlos is ready uh, to share. Yes, I am. I, I share in the in the group, but I would try to share it here. Let me see. Oh. Sorry, but it's hard to me. No, no problem. Let me take a look. One, one, one moment. Let me look in the in, in the group. Then let me let me see. Maybe we can. It, 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 this part is part B in in the exam. Three point twelve. Is that correct? Three point three point five four. Because I see I see. So yes, 3.4, 3.4. He has a problem with that 3.4 okay. and that 3. Point, yeah, 3.12. Uh, okay. Carlos, both of those, 3.4 and 3.12, right? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look. Let me start off here. 3.4, the knowledge check. Um, you want to use your roommate's computer, right? It's okay. Is it okay? You put if I use the computer. Oh, the problem was for if I use the computer. If you should put for your roommate. So, is it, you are speaking to your roommate? So it would be. Uh, is it okay if I use your computer? Oh. Uh huh. Your. Right. Yes. 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 Okay. This is, is your, okay? And it says, the next one you said, give me a right to my, I think you put work, right? Give me a, is giving, giving me a right to work. Yeah, no my, only give me a right to work. Giving me. Yeah, it's, you can put uh, giving me, that's right. Would you mind giving with ing? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we're using would you mind. And always would you mind is ing. Okay. You can check in the chat here in the group. Also, Van is, is putting down the, the answers for you if, you if it's not clear. And then, then you have the other one, right? Anybody can, can anybody help Carlos? It says, uh, you would like to, you would like your aunt to give you a second piece of pie. And it says, I was wondering if you mind. Uh, 
Bueno. Okay. I got it, teacher. Thank you. you. Got it. Okay. All right. Yeah, only, only I don't that. have the I don't have the third one, teacher. Uh, you want a friend to help you move on Saturday? Could you? I couldn't do that. Could you help me move on Saturday? Could you help me move on Saturday? No, help me to move. Sorry. No, no, help me to no. move. Can you, could you help me move on Saturday? Oh. Not too. Ah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, yes. Okay. These, ex these exams are very hard, teacher. Yeah, they become harder, especially when they because make mistakes. You have to write a lot of things. A lot more. I have a question. Okay. Uh, in the final, the part B, uh, the number number three. You want to borrow a stranger's newspaper when he finish finish it reading it. I was trying to put in any in any any form and I can catch I I can read I can I can put the right answer. I put I was wondering if you mind letting me your newspaper after the students reading it. No, 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 too much, too much information, too much information, only if you mind lending me your newspaper. I was trying to in that and, and What and exercise is? Uh, exercise uh, three, sorry, sorry, exercise B in the, in the final exam, exercise B in the final exam. I, I did already and, and doesn't work. I was wondering. I was wondering if you would mind letting me your newspaper, and it wasn't okay. Write it in the chat. Let me see. Let me see what you're doing wrong, Vero. Let me try. Eh? Right here, I, in the computer, or in the, the, the right here in the chat of the class. Let me try to do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do that exercise too. Number one and number three. Number one, what did you put? Could I? I put, could I lend your laptop for the weekend? Ah, that's because that's not correct. I don't know if you could see. Okay, would you mind lending me your news? Uh huh. Continue. Let me see that the the end in the. Ah. No, no, number three. Oh well, there you go. Uh, for Vane, do you see the the one that she put? The number one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Did you see the number? I don't know if I, I I could do it. Write it again. Go ahead. Write it. Let's see. I think it looks correct. But I, I was wondering if you might letting me your newspaper. Eliminate the question mark because you already have the question and the answer. Um, okay. Yay. Finally. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's yeah. why. Like that's why. That's why. That's why I say sometimes is 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 not that I is sometimes I need to see your answers because your answer is correct, but it's something that you wrote that's not correct that that doesn't allow it to go through. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, sure thing. Anybody else? Any other questions? Me, me, teacher. You yeah, Elizabeth. And in the lesson five point five. Okay. The number, uh, the number two. Five point five. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh, 
I already tried different way and I couldn't. Um, unscramble the words in parentheses. Uh, is meeting people my age? Oh, let's see. Maybe Omar can help you. I think with Mo Omar, we discussed this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to yeah, share this. this uh, Omar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, okay, t-shirt and the answer, the number two, the things I will be, give me a moment. Five point five. It's, yeah, 5.5, uh, and then number two. The thing that I must no. The things I will be the most curious about is about about it's only about at the at the end of this statement. The things I will be the most curious about. Right. The thing. The thing I be. I be no, no, most. No, 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 another thing I, no, well, Omar, say it slowly. The things I will be the most curious about. What number is that, sorry? I uh, will no, be number the two. most. Oh, man, it's Curious about? I think I write that, but that num what number is that exercise? 5.5, 5.5, and number two, the thing I will be the most curious about. Um, I sent you on the WhatsApp group. Elizabeth? Share my, share oh, my wait, 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 I spelled wrong. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Did you see? All right. The thing I will be the most curious about. Oh, man. Okay. Only that, only the word the, huh? That's the one, the one that was causing the problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay. And then I have a... Uh, Another question, teacher, okay. about the same the um, lesson of the five point five. No. Um, it's yep. Wait. I mean, I, I, it's, it's about the relative clauses. Uh -huh. um, the teacher there in the, in the platform um, did some examples. Um, Do you want to share your screen, Elizabeth? So we, we know what you're I, talking I, about. I, Oh. I don't know. How, I don't know how to do it, teacher. Sorry. Okay. Tell me what exercise, and I'll share my screen. I, I want no. Um, five. Five. Five point mm -hmm. three. Five point three. Yeah. Okay. But in the video, he writes some uh, examples. Okay. Using uh, using uh, one thing that I'd be nervous about, uh, one and thing that I'd be an, um, anxious about. Is we're gonna try. Um, hi, at the end of this class, it's awesome. And then the verb is now the verb is mean. Is this the one? Um, yeah, but the question is, is um, for example, uh, he used the proposition about and uh, and some of uh, the sentences use uh, or the uh, relative clauses use with comfortable comfort 
comfortable with, um, fascinated by. Okay. So if that's, uh, uh, there is a rule about that or it just, uh, no, that's the is. way there has to be. There so is. just had to memorize the, the, the relative clause. Correct. There, no. there, there is a rule, but the rule is really that you have to memorize the, the pronoun, sorry, the preposition that goes with it. So, for example, exactly. um, there's, there, yes, it, 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 each word has a specific preposition. So you have um, nervous about, anxious uh, with. Um, so you can say, uh, I'll, I'll be fascinated about? Uh, no, fascinated uh, uh, with. Give me, what, oh, I don't Fascinated have. by, he said. Yes. And that, that's the part that I understand. I don't understand because one of my problems <laughs> about learning English is uh, uh, the grammar. So I get confused I when to use by, when to use with, when to use about. Okay. For that, I'll, let me see if I can help you right now. This is what you need. You need this list. Mm -hmm. So if you see, all I did was put prepositions with adjectives. And here, depending on how much you want to study, that's what you're going to choose. If you want to study a little bit, only of, for, with, or to, or about, you can do that. If you want to study a lot more, then you click on the ones that have a lot more. Accustomed, accused, addicted, all of these. And it's, it's really a lot of work because mm -hmm. each, each word has a different preposition that it goes with. It's not that words with P go with this one, words with A go with that one. There's, it can be afraid of, it can be associated with, but it cannot be associated with, associated of or afraid with. It has to be it, with these each one. So each adjective that you want to use, that's what you're gonna have to study. The, what you are looking to study, uh, Elizabeth, is called prepositions mm -hmm. with adjectives. That's what you want to study. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me write down the preposition with... Uh... It's in the chat. You just have to click on it. Oh, uh, okay. I'll make it easy for you. All you have to do is click, but <laughs> yes. Okay, it, okay. It is a lot of work because there mm -hmm. are a lot of prepositions, a lot of, not so much okay. prepositions, but a mm -hmm. lot of words. So all you do is choose the one that works best for you. Which, mm -hmm. which one, uh, do you like these little pictures and maps? Does that work mm -hmm. best? Or do you like these little charts? Or, you know, you, you have to decide which is the best function for your time in order to okay. help you. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I do it uh, later on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I recommend begin with, with the common words. So first, the easiest way is uh, begin with words that you're going to use. For example, afraid or used to. Or, uh -huh, exactly, exactly. Because you want to be comfortable so, yeah. with the first words. Once you feel comfortable with the words that you use or that you normally use, then you start expanding into studying the other words. Okay. Okay? Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right. Anyone else? Me. Yes, Evan. Uh, I, I have problems with the 3.12 knowledge shake. 3.12. One sec. We'll bring it up. Okay. And what is uh, the, the question with 3.12? Uh, the second one, it gives me an a, a error. Okay. And what did you put? What was your answer for 3.12? Okay. Wait. If she is going to to the party, mm -hmm. that was my answer. Okay, let me take a look. This is and one sec. It's loading. Okay, let me see. All right, number, which way, whether she accepted, uh, going to the party with Jeff. Could you ask Sophia? Okay. Uh -huh. Is she going to a party? 
Did you put? Is that for? Yeah, is she going to the party? Did you put with Jeff? Uh, no. Okay. With but, Jeff. Yes, because the, the in the in the sentence it says, "Are you going to the party with Jeff?" Okay. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. No, it also gave me an error. Could you ask Sophia if she's going to the party with Jeff? If she look in the chat. She, yeah, if she's going to the party, she's going to the party. Uh -huh. Party with Jeff. Ah, the mark the set. Let me see. Yeah, and the poor one too. Okay, and the four one. Could you uh, ask? Well, my, uh -huh. Okay, what did you put? Could you ask Mario? When is he going to give Tony's gift? No, when, if. Ah, just if. Okay. If if he if he's going. Mm -hmm. To give Tony's gift? No, if he's going to give Tony a gift, like Tony, in the, uh, like Tony. the same way that it's in there. Mm -hmm. If he's going Tony to give Tony, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, maybe also give me an error. If take a look at the chat. Take a look at the chat. Okay. Look at the chat. Mm -hmm. All right. He ah he he. Is. Yeah, thank you. Okay, no yeah. problem. All right, there you go. That's Vani. All right, anybody else? Hi, teacher. Hey, Jose. I have problem with the exercise 4.11. 4.11. All right, let's hop over to that one. Okay. And what is the question or what is the number for 4.11? With the first sentence, I I have right, but uh, and the number one, mm -hmm. the second answer. And I guess we for me, mm -hmm. the answer is left. I guess we left the door unlocked because that's how the thief got into the house. Okay, um, pretty good, Jose but probably would have to be that you did this action before. So this would be had left. Had left. Yes. Remember that grammatically, grammatically, if you use the past tense in the sentence with another past tense is at the same time. But if you want to say that one action happened before the other action, then you need to use had. Oh, okay. And, and you left the door open before the thief got in. So in this case, it would yeah. have to be had left. Yeah, you're right. Because I wasn't a mistake with trying to put have in the present. Uh, but you're right. It's for yeah, the had. The, 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 the right is had. Okay. All right. Good. Good. So that means everybody's almost done with this platform. Anybody else? Any other questions? Yeah, I have problem in, in the same case with Jose. Ah, but did you listen to the answer, the one that we just said? Yeah, but uh, let me see. Well, I I I have problem with the first one, and the sec and the let me see. Yeah, and the the first one, and the fourth one. What did you put for the first one? Has broken. No, no, no. Because or here we're using the ing. It says uh, last night while while my sister and I were picking. So here's an ing. So when an action interrupts the other action, is only the simple past. So broke. Broke. Uh -huh. Bro broke. No, no. Broke into. Broke into. Broke into. Mm -hmm. See. Remember that the, the simple past interrupts an action with ing and had is the action that happened before. So How do you spell left? Left, L-E-F-T. 
L E F T. Like uh, left, like izquierda. Yes. Mm -hmm. have, but it must be had left, right? Uh, yeah. Had with H. Had left. Uh -huh. H A D. D. Mm -hmm. Okay. Had left. And I, I have another one. Luckily, I have gave. No, no, um, no have. It's in the have. past. Have. Had no. a H. Had. Yeah, very good, Elizabeth. Uh -huh. H A D. H A D. Have. No, mm -hmm. have. Okay. See. And the, the last one, luckily, I, I broke. I had broke. Correct, um, because you brought um, the phone please. before you called your brother for help. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thanks. You're welcome, you're welcome. No, Eugenia, Eugenia is, uh, I, th I think, let me check, Eugenia, you're, I think you're asking in for two questions. together. Yes, in two. <laughs> yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Van. Okay, anybody else? Are, are, are we good? We good, I'm good. <laughs> Whew. That means we're going to be very close. Everybody should be almost, almost finishing everything, I hope, finishing the entire course. Um, speaking of the entire course, I'm glad we're going through it today because uh, we only have a few days left and this time, um, the office wrote to me and informed me that there will be no vacation. No vacation. We begin class on Monday. So we finish on Thursday and the next group, uh, it seems that most people have their documents and your things ready. Um, and they're going to begin on Monday. My goodness. Yeah, finally. Everybody's putting the documents in on time. So that's like, good. And uh, I... And good and bad news because um, I spoke to, um, what's his name, Bautista, Jason Bautista, before this class in, the, from, in, in my other class from eight to nine. And he says that today is the last day to give the documents. So if you didn't send the documents, you will not participate in the next course. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. is, that, is, is that for real? Because they begin I... on Monday. They begin on Monday. They don't, we don't, they don't have time to wait because always they are waiting and waiting and the people take a long time and they say, no, this time, no, the people should have the documents ready. Um, he said that if you want, if there's an issue for you personally, for anybody personally, you can write to him and they can see if they, what they can do. But today was the last day. Um, technically today was the last day to give all the documents, the signature of the documents, the Dewey and all of that. But I didn't know that. Did you yeah. say that, or? No, no, no. I don't know. Did, if they, did. I don't know. But that, so I don't know how they're doing it because I I didn't know today was the last day. It's only because we we uh, I received the message for the that we begin class on Monday. Yeah, but they does does they, does they inform? Do they inform? I don't know. Do, I don't know. I, I, uh, I don't I know if they know sent. That. I don't know if they sent an email or if they called the offices or what. Mm -hmm. So, I what I recommend is if you if you did not uh, send the documents uh, or if you have not sent, send Jason. In this moment, I put the number where you're supposed to write to. Hang on. <laughs> This is the number and the person that you are supposed to write to and send them a message tonight, even before the class finishes. That way, today, it's registered that today you, you renewed the class, just in case. Wait, okay, uh, let me understand, way. teacher. Uh, so, we have to send informa the, the information today. That's what I understood. Jason said that today was the day to send the information. But I don't know if he informed you because I looked in the chat and I didn't see any message from the chat. But so uh, I don't know if he yeah, sent to the email. I mean, that's no. Well, 
I haven't received any okay. email about it. Let me see. So that's not, that's not fair. I mean, I don't know the rest of the class, but it's not fair because... Did anybody I, receive an email or information about the, the new groups or the renew the class? We oh. received an email. You did? Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I received teacher. I received teacher too. Okay. But I received that from the, from my work. They sent, they request the, the, the confirmation if you are going to stay in the next model. Okay. I uh, guess that they know that this is the last day. Yeah. Here it says for tomorrow is going to be the deadline. Uh, Edwin, tomorrow? Edwin, repeat. Tomorrow is going to be the, the last day to, to send the, the information. Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because I understood that today. So it's good. But tomorrow, that means that tomorrow you have to get a, I don't know, for some of you, maybe you have to get some, uh, print the, the document, sign it and, and send it. Remember, you can take a picture and send it in that form as well. It doesn't have to be scanned. Teacher, when I start the, the next model? Monday. Next Monday? Yep, Monday the 23rd. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is the idea, so to get everything done. Elizabeth, check the email, but if Edwin is correct, then you still have tomorrow to turn in all the documents. Yeah, but I haven't received an email because mm -hmm. I check it every day and, uh, and I haven't received. Okay. And uh, but I will uh, contact uh, the number that I that's in Jason? the WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, and his name and the number is there. So it's the 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 number and then next to it the name. You can also check in the uh, in the list of WhatsApp group. He's in the. I think he's like the second or third name. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Anybody else? How many models are these free, free intermediate? Three and then advance. Advance, yeah. And then, Bane, that's it, right? Finish the advance and woof. Stop, stop spending time from nine to ten at night. <laughs> Receive your diploma. Have the formal one. Have it registered. Then use it. Perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, really, if you think about it, it in maybe by, in a few months, you are finished. Only a few months. And from here to December, is, did you see, four weeks are fast. Four weeks are very fast. January, we do module three for pre-intermediate. In February, you are beginning in advance. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe at the end of, uh, of Easter, that's it. You're graduating. You're finishing. So we'll see. All right. I'm glad there are no other questions then for, for the platform. But just in case, one more time. Anybody have any questions, any exercises that are not clear? Whew, all right. Nope. Nope. All right. <laughs> Good. But I'm glad we were able to answer everyone's questions and everybody is able to go ahead and advance well. Um, let me share this screen with you um, and I'll summarize it. We're looking at here in 5.7 what is called our expectations. Okay. So what are expectations? Kind of like things that you think about in the future. What's going to happen or what you expect to happen what you believe should happen. Those are the expectations, okay? So, you know, they can be from habits, which is the part where it says it's the custom. It can be um, what is acceptable or what you are uh, supposed to do, or what people believe you to do. Those are all of these words are what we can use for expectations. Many times we use expectations like for when we're talking about things like uh, job interviews, um, visiting someone's house, uh, getting married, uh, all of the different things that are part of our lives. That's part of the expectations, right? 
So as an example, traditionally in El Salvador, when someone gets married, okay, what does the man have to do? <laughs> no. What does he have to do? What's he expected to do? To give the ring? Yeah, he's expected to get a ring. You don't say, hey, hey, Bane, me, you, me, you, tomorrow, let's go. Let's sign the document. We are married. No, you have to. You have to ask, right? You are expected to ask. You're supposed to ask. And like we mentioned, you are supposed to buy a ring. What else? Any other things that we're supposed to do when we get married? Propose. Speak with your family. Mary, you're right. You're supposed to propose. Vane, what about the family? I speak with, with her family. Oh, traditionally, right? You're supposed to ask for it. Speak to the family. Permission. <laughs> ask for permission. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if this is with, with the modern, the Me Too movement and all of this movement. I don't know if this is the acceptable ideas, even today's modern society. If you are independent, you are independent. You don't need permission from the father. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. do, do that in El Salvador and no one goes to the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> to invite her to eat some pupusas. Hey, celebrate eating pupusas. Listen to Edwin. He's getting married and celebrating the yes with pupusas. Okay, the traditional food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't don't get angry, Omar. Don't get angry. Relax, relax. I see Omar <laughs> getting angry. <laughs> I see Omar saying, nah, take me to pupusas and I hit you. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> a meal shake. Okay, all right. So what about when someone is going to have a baby? What are what are the friends, the co-workers expected to do before the person has a baby? Baby shower. Okay, it's custom, right? This is, that's when we use the word custom, okay? So here, for this case, it's a custom to have a baby shower. If, if you are invited to the baby shower, what are you supposed to do? Bring a present. Yeah, yeah, you don't go to the baby shower and say, where's my food? No, the, the idea of the baby shower <laughs> <laughs> is, to, is to give, to help them, yeah. Okay. You have to earn the food with the gift. You have to earn the food with the gift. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. The same thing, right? If you go to a wedding, what are you expected to do? Huh? To Nothing. be early, early in the, Drink in the reception. <laughs> yeah. You have to be early, right? The bride and the groom, they can take the time that they want, but... You are expected to be early for the ceremony. Mm -hmm. You borrow a present at least the same cost of the dinner you have in the party. That's right. You're expected to have a present at least the same cost of the dinner. You know, it doesn't matter, but you should have some kind of small present or big present, depending. Exactly. Okay, so it's okay how we use these words, supposed to, acceptable, custom. We can also use them in the negative, for example, right? You aren't supposed to, like if you go to church, you aren't supposed to use your cell phone, right? You are, you are expected to pay attention. Teacher, what is the meaning of it's the custom? It's the custom is the synonym for it's the habit. So this is what in this case, in this correct. case, but custom correct. has another, another um, uh, traduction. Correct. Correct. Here is the habit is what is normal, the routine. Mm -hmm. Okay. What, let's think about other things. What about when you go on vacation? What happens when you go on vacation? What do you imagine? What is, not only you, what do you imagine other people do on vacation? You make a schedule about your phone. About your? Your activities with your family okay. to have fun. Okay, okay. So you plan activities to, to have fun, okay. You save money. 
Okay, you, you save money. Okay, right? You you are supposed to relax in vacation. That's the idea of the vacation. In the negative, you are not expected to work. <laughs> exactly. Okay, that's how we use these words. Are all of these words okay? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Now, okay. It's, om it's almost time for us to finish, so we won't have enough time to make groups and practice them, but we are going to make groups tomorrow and practice them. Please work on the platform. Remember, we only have really two or three, day three days really to finish the class, and really the best is to have the platform finished by Wednesday. That way, if you have issues with the platform, uh, with the grades, uh, you know, a lesson, something, we have Thursday to ask. So if you are not finished, try to advance and advance and advance between today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. That way you can be done by Wednesday, uh, by Wednesday night. All right? Okay. Okay, guys. Um, mm. If there are no more questions, right? I think everybody is... I got a question. Oh, sorry. Okay. I complete some tasks in the platform, but I don't see the chat, the green chat in... No problem. It's like I don't... And I check the the advance and I, I didn't see if I work in there. Elizabeth can help you because she had this problem, I think, last week or the week before. Oh, okay. Eliz Elizabeth, what, what, what happened? when you had the same problem? <laughs> I had to correct the, the sentences. I mean, because some sentences was, uh, no, wait. I was... Mm -hmm. I saw the answers and they yeah. have a check in green. But if you see the title, I can see the check in, in the top. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, I had the same problem. Man, I don't remember. <laughs> I think uh, I, I had mean, that I, problem too. But I, I, what I do, I did was that I stay a little minutes in that page, and then I change to another exercise. Because when I, I think when you don't stay a lot of time, they don't recognize that you are in that in the in that part. And that works. I don't know why, only, but you can finish and then try to enter again and click and stay a few minutes okay. and then change uh, the, the like other exercise. Because okay. I don't know what happened, but at least happened very frequently. I stay a long time and refresh the page. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. refresh the I page. try to do that. Thanks. Okay. All right, guys. Have what a great section is one? Yes, Elizabeth. Okay, maybe he's not with us. All right, guys. <laughs> Have a great night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. 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 Bye.